I'm Thurman Shunak and uh, Ryan, friend, and we're, uh, I just make brooms. But anyway, uh, <laughs> it's the broom shopping. So I was asked to tell a little story, and it's about uh, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Broom. And uh, one day, Mrs. Broom comes in and, and she goes, well, actually, they weren't married yet. But she comes in and she goes, we're going to be expecting some little whisk brooms. Why don't you get over here? <laughs> and, so, and he said, uh, he goes, how is that possible? We haven't even swept together yet. I'm gonna make it a kitchen broom. Okay. And, uh, I don't know if you'll be able to take it back to Escarpment Studios, but maybe you can give it to somebody else. Oh, my sister would love a broom. Yeah, I bet she That'd would. That'd be awesome. I bet she would. Well, How many brooms do you make a day? We try to make about between 20 and 30 brooms a day. Uh, Sometimes more. And over here in this section, I see some whittling or some uh, chopping of slicing yeah, so of plants that will be used to cover the wire. Uh huh. This kind of wire here. Uh -huh. So um, I've hammered in a tack, as you can see. Okay. And I we got here. A I up. loop a little bit, a bit of this wire around here, like so. Mm hmm. And then this is an ancient machine, but it is now motorized at least. So <laughs> we're gonna turn on power. Start winding. The inside root corn is kind of reedy. These are all green corn products. It's a non-edible corn plant. That's yeah. mostly grown in Mexico. Um, so this has been soaked, it's a little bit moist, so it's pliable, and I can put it in here under the wire, wrap it a little bit around, make it here. So it's, uh, it's got these kind of shoulders that stick out on each side. This one. We'll put one shoulder here. One here. Wrap it around a few times. This is actually called a broom knife. It's made for this purpose.
this off the side. <laughs> No plausible deniability. <laughs> oh wow, that's a wild looking. That looks like kind of a dress skirt. Uh, I'm a pretty girl. <laughs> so then, this is made. We'll put it in a vise. So it, I don't know if you can time lapse this one. It's usually six or seven minutes is about the fastest I can. Wow. Okay. So, but we have these sewing needles. Oh, uh, wait a second, let me get a better. Yeah. I'm going to do a quick little walk through and then come right back to you as you make progress on this room. Just okay. so our viewers can enjoy the aesthetic of the wood shop here. Yeah, there's lots to see in the broom shop. Yeah. Oh boy. Now, why are these brooms here? Is so those it... are completed brooms that are drying out uh -huh. because the plats are wet when we apply them. We want them to dry out good so they don't mold. Ah, okay. Because molding's always a problem with wet straw, right? It is. And to be honest, it is a problem. Oh boy, look at all this straw. Do you have any stories you want to share about uh, the broom shop here? The broom shop here? What's the largest broom you've ever made, for instance? The largest broom we made was for uh, a witch. It was around, oh, it was before Halloween. And it was, it was a large broom. It was, the, uh, the circumference of the stick was about like, yo. Oh. Um, so comically large or not not useful for sweeping really <laughs> uh, but maybe more aerodynamic or something maybe jumbo could carry an extra large witch I'm gonna pause So the sticks are dried in a kiln to get rid of the bugs. And then oh wow! Look at all these sticks. A lot of sticks. I love these sticks. What kind of wood is this? So this is this is viney maple here. Uh, it comes in green when we first get it, and then it's kind of purplish uh -huh. after it comes out of the kiln. And it looks like this eventually, and you carve also. This one might be apple or pear. Ah. Oh. We get some apple, pear, some cherry, um, and a lot of 
lot of filberts. Um, we have a lot of filbert orchards. This, this one here is a filbert. Oh, look at this. Is this part of your uh, the workshop, the space? This is um, our boxes for the shipping and storage. There's a couple Brian things back there. My old PA and a bicycle. Ah. Oh. My bike shop. Back there. Oh, and a room, a mystery room. Yeah. Cool. There's a bike. Lots of tarp. <laughs> Boxes. More sticks and bells of straw. <laughs> yeah, so we'll actually, I don't know if you'll get a chance to see it, but we're getting a new shipment of, of corn products today. Ah. Um, so we'll load it in through that dock in the back. Any ghost stories? Everyone likes a good ghost story. Not yet. We have a. Uh, you know, other little critters that run around from time to time. There's a... Oh. Just tying the thong. This is what we saw in the beginning of the video? Yeah, this is my terrible plaiting job. I'm oh, not usually good. a platter. And this is Ranger the shop dog right here. She's with us today. But here is... a broom. Oh, awesome. That is a broom. Some more right here. Here, let's try it out. Show us how it's done. <laughs>